YouTube, what's good? I am the Madman with the Hat, and I, this is going to be my first video, but I felt like I should at least try, then do nothing. Now, there is a battle between Endgame and Avatar, and, well, Last time I checked, Endgame was around 22 million away from Avatar. And I think I need to explain why I think Endgame should beat Avatar. So, this video is going to be titled, Why Endgame Should Beat Avatar. And here's why. Number one, it is the combination of 11 years and... 22 movies, I think. So it's been a lot of time. That in itself should be enough for people to be like, oh, let's go beat Avatar with this. It's the end of an era. The MCU that we once had is done. Iron Man, Cat, they're gone. The OGs. Yeah, we got the Hulk. We got Thor. We got Hawkeye. Probably never going to get a movie. But those are the only ones we have left. We got these new guys, which they're not bad. But we gotta respect with what we had before. Endgame's the end of an era. The end of what this 11 year, 22 movies was. Of course it's gonna continue. Why wouldn't they continue it? They still have stories to tell. But... Not to mention... This is what everyone wanted from the MCU. From They wanted from Marvel. This is the endgame. This is the endgame, everyone. Thanos. What they've, a villain they've built up ever since um, 2012. Yeah, he was in Infinity War. But this is where he really shines. This is where it really stands. Not to mention, when Avatar came out, that was 10 years ago. 2009, Avatar, boom, came out. And I've never seen the film, so I don't th really have a reason or the right to say why people liked it, but I'm going to anyways because I want to. Think about it. If 2009 would, that movie would have been big with its effects and everything, and I feel like that's the only reason why it beat Titanic, because it was something new that we never seen, but that was 2009, anything that Avatar gave us, we have now, so that's the reason why it shouldn't be number one, because of its great effects, if we got things that are better now, and... Endgame is a one-of-a-kind movie. That movie is not going to be able to be remade. DC is not going to be able to do that. Avengers 5 isn't going to be able to do that. No superhero movie is going to be able to do what Endgame has. And that, and it's, that also should be a reason why it beats Avatar. Avatar, at the time, nothing else could compare to it. But now, you can compare it to a lot of movies that haven't beaten it. That never got close. But you won't be able to, but no movie can compare to Endgame. You can't look at some other movie and be like, ah, yeah, this is like Endgame. You can't. So, it's a one-of-a-kind movie that we're never going to see again. There's nothing like it. Avatar, we see everything like it. And this is the heavy hitter. Stan Lee. We're tributing Stan Lee ever since his death. Rest in peace, Stan the Man. But this could be the final and huge tribute to him. We have his characters in this huge, hugely built movie finally put, become number one. And Stanley may never have wanted that. He may never have wanted his characters to be something like this. But we never know. Because he, he's not around to tell us. 
So, in that case, I think we should give a final tribute to Stan Lee, the man who, if it wasn't for him, this wouldn't be possible. To have Endgame, to have Iron Man, your Spider-Man, Cap, Hulk, Thor, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have these characters. So, with Endgame, it, this should, no, uh, no other movie, for it's possible that there will never be another movie to ever give Avatar the run for their money. So we gotta use Endgame with what we have and give it, and get it number one. Not only to make Avatar stop being number one and have a new ruling movie, but to Stan Lee. A tribute to him. We take granted these heroes, but we never really paid respect to the man who... To the man who created them. Everyone loves Stan Lee. But have we ever really thanked him for what he's done? Until he died. Until he died. People haven't really done much for him. In his final days, he was treated poorly. Until he died, that's when all these tributes, these artwork to people, making these compilations to give Stan Lee a good farewell. How about instead of that, we give him... Endgame beating Avatar. And people are like, I get that they did the release, that oh, the digital is going to be soon, but that shouldn't be the reason why it shouldn't beat Avatar. Because, oh, the digital version is going to be out soon. That shouldn't be the reason. The reason should be because, well, because it was shit. Because it was a bad movie. Because the re-release was just nothing, but hey, here's a one extra scene. The re-release, and people are like, oh, Endgame has a re-release to beat Avatar? Avatar did a re-release. Avatar re-released itself in theaters. So it's not unfair for Endgame to be like, okay, well, let's re-release the movie. It shouldn't fail to beat Avatar because the release date on the digital version. It shouldn't. Endgame should beat Avatar. If you've already seen the movie, go see it again. Heck, if you don't want to see the movie, this might not be a good thing to say, but if you haven't seen the movie, buy tickets and don't go. It's not wasting your money if it's contributing to something for a man who is amazing. For us, it's not a waste. You're contributing to helping this movie become the number one spot so we can give a final tribute to the man who made this possible. Not to mention, it's Endgame. We're never getting anything like this again. I can't stress this enough. We're never getting a movie like this again. That's why it has to, it should, it has to be Avatar. If it doesn't, what movie's gonna come out to be Avatar? Avatar 2? 2025? Really? We gotta wait for the sequel to beat the original? No. It should be Endgame. Just go watch Endgame. Just have Endgame beat Avatar.